So you might be trying to figure out how you can change your Apple ID email on your specific iPhone. Now, doing this is actually very basic, but the very first thing you're going to have to keep in mind is that any iCloud-related stuff associated with your email is going to be deleted. So this could mean your phone calls, your messages, your photos, some even like whatever's not stored on your iPhone that's associated with your account is pretty much going to be deleted. So just understand that, make a backup of all your data that you can, because if for some reason you want to go back and you know get that data back, you'll have to either log in with that iCloud account, maybe you'll get some of that data back, but if not, then at least you'll have that backup enabled. So just make a backup, that's the first thing I'd recommend doing. Now when you're ready, you can make your way over to your settings application right here. And what you want to do here is at the very top, you want to go ahead and click the little name that you have up here, and then you will come into this panel. Now all you're going to want to do here is scroll all the way down. So go scroll past all this stuff down here and you will see this little sign out button. So all you're going to want to do here is go and click sign out and then you're going to come into this panel. Now it's going to ask you for your specific password. So now what you're going to want to do is type in the same exact password that you have for this account. Because if you don't type in the passcode then that's clearly not going to you know, help you out at all. So what you're going to want to do is type in the passcode and then once you type in the passcode, you want to click on the top right and you want to click turn off. So what's going to happen here is that basically it's just going to turn off the specific account. It's going to go ahead and delete basically all this data from your phone. So it's going to delete potentially whatever's not stored in back, you know, your iCloud backup here. So whatever you didn't have backed up, it's going to delete it from this phone. So it's going to tell you exactly what it's going to remove. You can sync and back up everything before. And then when that's done, you'll basically be able to see this specific panel will now change from a name. If you look at your iPhone, it'll say sign into your iCloud account or whatever. So then all you're going to want to do is click at the very top and you will basically sign in with a new Apple ID and that is it. So you can do it that way. You can also go ahead and scroll down into your general settings here. You can click, you know, factory or transfer or reset iPhone and you can erase all content as settings only after you've done a backup. So do a backup first, then do this after. It's another thing you can do. I mean, this deletes everything from your iPhone, so maybe that's not exactly what you want to do, but those are a few different ways of going about it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.